Hello everyone. In this video lesson, we will discuss about finite and non-finite verbs. First of all, I will give the definition of verb. It belongs to a part of speech. A verb is a word or a group of words that denote an action, position, or state of being. It tells us what person or things does. It denotes what happens or is done to a person or thing. For example, run, have, is, broken, like. These are verb forms. Further divided into helping verbs, exerty verbs, small verbs. So, first, verbs are many kinds. The categorization of verbs help us to understand their structure better. First, let us look at the categorization of verbs into finite and infinite or non-finite verbs. First of all, I will give the definition of finite verbs. Definition. The simplest way to identify finite verbs is to check if a verb has a subject and if it changes tense. A sentence remains incomplete unless it has a finite verb. The primary verb of your sentence is always finite. For example here, they work to school every day. They walk to school every day. Walk. The nomads walked air freely. Walked. Everyone calls him smart. Walk, calls. These are the finite verbs. Okay. Next definition I will give. Non-finite verbs definition. Okay. Non-finite verbs do not change according to the number and person of the subject or the time of action of the subject. Example, she likes working as a teacher. She has decided to go abroad. Okay. They are deciding where to go for lunch. Go to likes as. So, these are changed to according to a person of the subject or the time of the subject. They are never the primary verbs of a sentence and are accompanied by finite verbs. Okay. So further, non-finite verbs divide into three types. Divide into three types. First one, gerunds. Second one, infinitives. And third one, participles. So first one, gerunds. Gerunds are words ending in ink form are made from verbs and used like nouns. For example, ink form, visiting, swimming, talking, listening, all ink forms, all actions are working like as gerunds. Next one, infinitives. Infinitives are the base form of verbs and are always preceded by two. The Dictionaries use the form of the verb, for example, I love to cook, habit to jump. So these are called as infinitives. And the participles, participles called as free forms. For example, present participles formed by adding form in a verb form and Adjectives, adverbs are in the formation of a verb, tense with forms of the B forms. B forms goes to am, is, are, was, were. To form continuous tense. For example, the water is boiling. Water is boiling. I have completed my assignment. So here, participle verb forms used to perfect tense form. These verbs usually end in E, D, D, T, E, N, N letters. Okay. So today we will learn about the only small definition about the finite verbs and non-finite verbs. Thank you. Thank you for watching.